Hi, I'm Fiona and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to work the chain cast off. This is probably the most common method of taking your stitches off the needles and putting a finished top edge onto your knitting. So in front of me here I've got a small piece of knitting which has got a bit of gas stitch and a bit of stocking stitch and I'm going to work this first demonstration working the cast off as a knit stitch. So you start your knitting as normal, work the first two stitches. I've now got two stitches on my right needle so I'm going to use the point of the left needle to lift the first stitch knitted over the second stitch and off the right needle leaving one stitch on the right needle. I then knit another stitch and again I'm going to lift the first stitch over the second stitch and off the right needle. Again I'm going to work another stitch so that I've got two stitches on the right needle and then I'm going to lift one stitch over the other and when I'm working I use my thumb and my forefinger of my left hand to just pull the knitting away slightly to make sure I don't make the chain edge too tight. Work the next stitch, lift one stitch over the next stitch. One thing you do need to be aware of when knitting your cast off edge because you don't want a tight cast off edge is that when you knit your stitch, when you pass the stitch over, try to avoid pulling the yarn tight because that's going to give you a very tight edge. You don't want a tight edge, you want a neat edge that's the same width as the rest of the knitting. So again, lift one stitch over the other and I'm just pulling the knitting away slightly and I'm not pulling on the tail end, I'm just making sure the stitch is sitting as normal on the right needle. Make another stitch, lift the first over the second so that you're back down to one stitch on the right needle, knit another stitch, pull one stitch over the top of the other. So I'm coming up to my last stitch in a minute, so I pull that one over, knit my last stitch, lift the stitch over which leaves me one stitch on my needle. At this point you'd cut your yarn, my yarn's already been cut. Now you can just make the loop big enough to pull the tail end through the loop. That will give you an extra stitch at the edge here. So alternatively you can make sure that you're just making the loop bigger and bigger. Don't pull the tail because that will undo your knitting. Just make the loop bigger and bigger until the tail end pops through. And then you've got your last stitch secured here and your cast off edge which is the same width as the rest of your knitting. And if you look at this cast off edge you can see a row of chain stitches along the top. When you're working the cast off with a knit stitch the cast off chain will come to the side facing you as you're knitting. If you work the cast off chain working a purl stitch which has worked exactly the same but just working in purl the chain stitch will go to the side away from you as you're knitting. You can knit the cast off or work the chain cast off in any stitch pattern. So I have another sample here which is a small piece of 2x2 two two rib. And again I want to keep my cast off in the same stitch pattern 
as the piece of knitting. So I'm going to start as my rib starts with a knit two, so I'm going to knit the first two stitches. I've got two stitches on my right needle, so I'm going to lift the first stitch over the second stitch and off the knitting. My next stitch is a purl, so I need to bring the yarn between the needles and work a purl. And lift one stitch over the other, knit another purl stitch, and again I've got two stitches so I lift one stitch over the other and off the right needle. My next stitch is a knit stitch so I take the yarn back between the needles so that I can now work a knit stitch, lift the stitch over, a second knit stitch, lift the stitch over, bring the arm forward, purl one, and take the stitch over, purl two, take the stitch over, take the arm back, And as you can see, as I'm working, I cast off the stitch before I move the yarn for the next stitch. So I've just cast off that knit stitch before I move the yarn forward, ready to work my purl stitch. Purl one, purl two. Again, I'm going to cast off that stitch before I move my yarn to the back to then work the last two knit stitches. So again you'd cut your yarn and I'm going to just pull the tail, pull the loop, just keep pulling the loop up until the tail pops through and that will secure your top edge. And again my cast on edge is the same width as my cast off edge, or my cast off edge should I say is the same width as my cast on edge. The other thing that you may want to note when you're working in a stitch pattern like rib is that instead of the chain sitting along the front here as it did on the knit cast off, the chain actually sits along the top edge of the knitting so it can make a nice neat edge if you've got to do uh, a neckband or something. So that's the chain cast off.